today on Inquirer. The Commission on Appointments bypassed the confirmation of three top Commission on Elections officials appointed by outgoing President Rodrigo Duterte, making way for President-elect Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. to appoint officials for these positions. The ad interim appointments of COMELEC Chairman Saidamen Pangarungan and Commissioners George Garcia and Amy Torrefranca Neri did not make it past the CA Committee on Constitutional Commissions and Offices after it adjourned its hearing on Wednesday due to lack of quorum. Commission on Audit Chairperson Rizalina Hustol and Civil Service Commission Chairman Carlo Nugrales suffered the same fates. Since they were bypassed, their ad interim appointments will only be effective until June 30 or until Duterte's last day in office. However, they can still be appointed by the next president since they were not rejected by the CA. Incoming Presidential Communications Operations Office Chief Trixie Cruz Angeles said that while they have no information yet whether the officials will be reappointed under the incoming administration, they appreciate the gesture of having Marcus pick the officials. We have no information as to whether or not they will be reappointed. We are only appreciative of the gesture that uh, the president-elect's opinion or choices on the officials are taken into consideration. Incoming PCOO Chief Trixie Cruz Angeles is pushing for the accreditation of bloggers to cover Malacanang press briefings. We are, however, um, pushing for the accreditation of bloggers to be uh, invited to some of the briefings, uh, especially those conducted by the president event. Cruz Angeles said that the accreditation of bloggers is among the priorities of the incoming PCOO. She added that they are looking to hold palace briefings once to twice a week or more if needed. Senator Cynthia Villar threw her support behind Senate Majority Leader Juan Miguel Zubiri, who is said to be eyeing the top Senate post. In an interview, Villar confirmed that she is no longer interested in the Senate presidency, even rejecting the idea of a possible term-sharing deal with Zubiri. Villar said that she already informed Zubiri about her decision. <laughs> Starting today, June 1, an additional 78 cents per kilometer will be collected from motorists passing through the Subic Clark Terlock Expressway. Under the new toll fee matrix, motorists traveling between Mabalaka to Terlock will be charged an additional 31 pesos to 92 pesos. While motorists traveling between Mabalakat City and Tipo Hermosa Bataan will be charged an additional 49 pesos to 147 pesos. Public utility buses would be given toll subsidies and allowed to pay the old rates for the next three months to cope with the higher toll rate. Moira De La Torre and her husband, singer-songwriter Jason Marvin Hernandez, have gone separate ways after three years of marriage. Hernandez confirmed their split in a Facebook and Instagram post while asking for privacy during this difficult time. Hernandez also said that a few months ago, he confessed to Moira that he had been unfaithful to her during their marriage. Speculations on Moira and Jason's marriage circulated online last April when some fans noticed that De La Torre supposedly deleted most of their photos together on Instagram. South Korean boy band BTS met with President Joe Biden at the White House on Tuesday to discuss hate crimes targeting Asians. We just want to be a little help and we truly appreciate the White House and the governments trying to find solutions. People care a lot about what you say. And what you're doing is good for all people. The meeting came as Asian American and Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander Month in May due to a close following a sharp upswing in hate crimes against the community in the past year. Prior to the meeting, the K-pop stars made brief statements to reporters calling for a halt to crimes targeting Asian Americans. And that's the latest news today. For more stories, visit Inquirer.net. I'm Denisa Fernandez.